acids, bases, and pH. Our goals for today to determine the difference between acids and bases, discuss the importance of studying acids and bases, and then the last is perform an experiment dealing with acids and bases. Again, as I said last time, hindi po o hindi ko po hayaan kayo na mag-perform ng experiment about acids and bases because ako na lang po ang nag-prepare para sa inyo. Okay? Instead na kayo, ako na po ang mag-prepare para sa susunod na linggo, yung worksheet number 8 nyo, yun ang gagawin nyo. Okay? Next. What is the pH scale? The pH scale measures how acidic or basic a solution is. Okay? Makikita ho natin, okay, makikita ho natin, ito, wait lang. Okay? This one is acids, this one goes down, is a base, basic. Okay? Other term of basic is alkaline. Okay? Paano malalaman kung ang isang substance is acidic. Kung ang isang substance acidic, ay eh, meron siyang pH scale na 0 hanggang 6. Okay? Kung ang substance naman ay basic, meron siyang pH scale na 8 to 14. Always remember that 7 is a neutral. The best example is distilled water or water. When we say pH means potential hydrogen, okay? pH stands for potential hydrogen. So the pH scale is the concentration of hydrogen ions in a given substance. Identifying acids and bases. First, we have acids have a pH from 0 to 7 or 0 to 6. Take note, pH level of an acid is 0 to 6. Another, lower pH value indicates a stronger acids. Ibig sabihin, if a substance or if a solution has a pH scale of 0, 1, 2, 3, ibig sabihin, Yung substance na yun ay meron siyang stronger acid. Take note, pag lower pH value indicates a stronger acids. How about in bases? Bases have pH from 7 to 14 or 8 to 14. Okay? Higher pH value indicates a stronger base. Ibig sabihin, if your solution has a pH scale of 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, which means to say, higher pH value siya, pero stronger base siya. Definitions of acids and bases. An acid is a substance that breaks into hydrogen ions in an aqueous solution. A base, or another term of base, is alkaline, is a substance that breaks into hydroxide ions in an aqueous solution. Take note, aqueous solution is a solution where water is the solvent. Okay, let's try this. What happens when the pH of a substance is 7? Okay, the correct answer is a pH level of 7 indicates a neutral substance. Best example again is water. Next, test your knowledge. What is the range of an acid on the pH scale? Okay, the answer is 0 to 6. Okay, 0 to 6. Okay, next. What is the range of a base and what is another name for a base? Okay, the answer is you have 8 to 14 and the other name of base is alkaline. Characteristics of an acid. We have 
Acids can be characterized by sour taste. Okay, sour taste. And then next, it turns blue litmus paper to red. Okay, blue litmus paper turns to red. Okay. And then it tastes sour. So try drinking lemon with citric acid. Ibig sabihin class, when you put, when you add blue litmus paper into the acidic solution, that litmus paper or that blue litmus paper will turn into red. Characteristics of bases. A base is characterized by bitter taste. Example of this is milk of magnesia. And then, it feels slippery. Best example is soapy water. Okay? For example, detergent soap, detergent par, shampoo, lahat ng mga madudulas, they are considered as, or they are, uh, belongs to the basis, uh, basis substance. And then, it turns red litmus paper paper rather to blue. Ibig sabihin, once you put red litmus paper to the basic solution, itong red litmus paper, it will turn into blue. Okay, here are the ex an example of acids and their sources. Vinegar, acids found in the vinegar is acetic. And lemon, it is citric acid in tomato, oxalic acid. In grapes, we have tartaric acids. Milk, we have lactic acid. Even the ants has an acid, which we called it formic acid. And an apple has a malic acid. So those or these uh, example of acids na makukuha natin class sa bawat um, uh, product or solutions or pagkain na makukuha natin o maiintake natin. Okay, these are the few examples only. Okay? Next. Okay, ito yung, ito yung diagram, another diagram para malaman natin kung ano yung magiging color pag acidic or basic. Take note ha, from 0 to 6, tignan nyo may red hanggang sa mag-fade, magiging siyang para siyang violet hanggang 6. Pag 7 naman, hanggang violet, and then it turns into blue. Okay, take note, human blood ay nasa 7 point something. Big sabihin ay base siya, hindi siya neutral. Okay, um, baking soda, detergent, and bleach. These are the examples that are, these are the examples of uh, product na belongs sa basic or bases. Lemon, wine, and rain, example of acid. Okay, this is how it looks like class. Okay, tingnan nyo class. Even our stomach acid, meron. Napapabilang siya sa number 1 na pH scale. Drinking coffee, meron siyang acids. Napapabilang siya sa number 5. Tomato is also 5. Fresh water is a neutral. And then baking soda, 9. Drain cleaner, 13.5. Um, and laundry detergent is 10. And battery acid has 1.5 and soft drinks has uh, 2.5. So, ito lang yung mga halimbawa class na merong uh, halimbawa para makita nyo kung paano uh, nililevel or uh, not level but nililabel ang bawat acidity ng bawat substance.